Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Stopping for some noodles in a very, very hole in the wall place. Media, media, Zizi Zhou, Zizi Chu. That thing's electric, right? No. Oh, very good. Nisha <laughs> Laba? Everybody's very happy. <laughs> Nima Hang Gaoshing. Why Hang Gaoshing is it, Nima? Hang Gaoshing. 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 Hello. 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 I'm telling you that this thing is a smile machine. Hello, Nihal. Hello. <laughs> This guy stopped a little while back. I'm guessing he wants to say hi. Doesn't look Chinese even. Kinda. Hello. Ni hao. Yeah. You where are you from? Ma Sha. Ma Sha? Yeah. You're like this. You're a car. A car. Yeah. Nice guy. Just wanted to say hello. Okay, so we are past the hump. We've passed hump day as far as the hours of the day are concerned. If hours were in fact days, we just passed Wednesday. So uh, from here on out, uh, we are gonna reduce distance to the uh, destination and it will be more than the distance from the origination. Right? That's right, right? Uh, we have uh, we have a beautiful road along the river here. It just winds and winds and winds. And because it's right by the river, I know, or I hope, that it will be relatively flat. It'll have slight ups and downs as I ride the edge of the uh, coast of this river, but I think uh, nothing like we had earlier today, that's for sure. There is a road that is along that ridge there and goes into this little crease. Ay, ay. I'm glad I'm down here looking up. What's going on? That guy pulled over again. He's, he's up there. Does he want to talk again? Opening his door, putting on his hazard lights. He must have missed something. Let's see. Cross our fingers we don't get murdered chopped up and dumped into the river. The perfect plan. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. More questions. But nice guy. He's like, where are you coming from? I said Ningbo. He says, you came here from Ningbo? I said, no, 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 I didn't come here from Ningbo. I came from Ningbo 
to Korea, to Japan, to Taiwan to here. <laughs> Come from Ningbo. That's nothing. Hello! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah! Hello! <laughs> Chayo, Chayo! I think they saw my drone flying and they all came out and were like, what the heck is going on out there? I ripped my rain pants, which sucks, they're really good rain pants. I had to lift my trike over this barrier and uh, it was. It was a little awkward, it tore into my pants. No more rain coming, so I'll be okay until I get back from Ningbo. All right, folks, we are uh, approaching the destination. We've done it, hoorah! <laughs> Today was actually a fantastic mix of uh, aggressive hills, beautiful fields, little villages, decent sized roads. There was nothing urban about it, really. But it was cool, it was cool. I, I hadn't ridden like this in a while. And my knees are like, hey, uh, we're here. So I've got about 10 kilometers until I arrive at, uh, at the village. Now where we're going, if, if I hadn't told you already, friend of the nation, his name's Rod. He, uh, he is married to a Chinese wife and her family is from this little village. Uh, they've given the village a heads up. They're all excited to see me, apparently, or at least, hopefully they are. And I'm not sure if there's even connection there, but I'm gonna spend the night there. Uh, then I'll spend the next day there. Then I'll leave day after, head to head back to Nanning. So this has been a, a surprise offshoot, a surprise detour on the trip to Nanning from uh, Guilin. So it should be nice though. It's, it, it's interesting. I thought that Guilin and Yangshua was sort of a pocket of this sort of uh, mountainous structure, uh, the pimples. But uh, seems like seems like this whole southern area is like that. I chewed through some serious batteries today on my drone. Got some good stuff. I haven't flown the drone that much in a while either. Village life to the max. <laughs> He lives at the very end, or they live at the very end of the, the of the rural farm road in one of these houses, I think. This one way at the end, I think. Hello. Happy faces. I like happy faces. That might be the dad there. No, maybe not. Pretty sure that this is the place. Yeah, it just kind of dead ends here. Oh, oh, goes a little farther. Goes a little farther. Pretty much where the dot on the map shows, but I bet that's not the property. I bet that's just the marker for the village. Yeah, it's already said I arrived. Hmm. Hold on. I lost all service. I disappeared for a while. Ni hao. Chili. Oh, uh, but we found it. Hey, how? 
Ja. All right, guys, this is my, my room for the night. There are no windows to contain whatever heat you might generate inside this room. So basically, out there is the same temperature as in here. And it's gonna be cool tonight. This is my bed. So this is kind of a really typical Chinese bed. It's uh, very hard. The first mat is basically, here, let's see where it is, here we go. It's a bamboo mat on top of basically a box spring. They were able to load it up for me though. They, <laughs> let's see how many layers I got here. I got one, two, three, and then that'll be my bottom, and then four, and then five. I'm running into a bit of a problem though. My jacket is drenched with sweat drenched and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna dry it I'm not so prepared for this type of weather I in my mind I was always going south 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 so I got rid of all my winter stuff as soon as I passed through the season in Japan I thought I'd never need it again I got like about three days worth of warm weather stuff four days maybe but I only have two sets of cold weather clothes and one jacket. That's my only jacket. I'm gonna change out of this shirt, which is, is, is heavy with sweat, and uh, into my dry, dry second set of clothes. But tomorrow, if I do anything strenuous, I might ruin those as well. And there's no Wi-Fi. There's, there's some Wi-Fi next door that I'm gonna be able to use, I guess, I'm, I'm told. But uh, communicating with locals, it's been so easy. There's no Wi-Fi and no service. So I can't use any of my translation apps, which are like my go-to thing for kind of making the P2P, person-to-person -person work really well. So without that, things are gonna get a little bit interesting for me.
next time on the Jayo Vlog. It's almost impossible to burn this house down. So I'm just gonna kind of take a little bit of a walk here and give you some glimpses of village life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on.